Hi everyone, it's Spook. Some of you have asked me uh, how I organize my, my music collection, and uh, I'm going to show you how today. I have quite an extensive collection of music, probably a couple of uh, uh, hundred CDs, uh, probably me or a thousand. I've ripped most of them to, to my computer, and that's where I've organized uh, almost all of my music. So the way I do it is that I get an external drive and I recommend that uh, you put it on an external drive because if you put it on your main system drive, whether it's on your uh, PC or your Mac, you're going to find out that you're going to run out of space very quickly. So what I do is I have a dedicated drive that I use just to keep uh, music. And uh, then I use this program that's called Media Monkey um, that you can get a, a free version from um, and try it out or you can buy what they call the lifetime version. Uh, when I bought it, it was about 40 bucks and it basically allows me to use it uh, forever and get all the free upgrades. So I've gone from version 2 all the way to version 4.1 or whatever it is currently. But uh, you should check it out. It's basically kind of like iTunes, but it's more powerful, I think, because it's got a bunch of features that uh, iTunes doesn't have. It does integrate with your iPhone, so you can uh, add music to your phone and, and, uh, and do all of that. The only thing it doesn't do with the iPhone is create playlists. So while you can load music onto the phone, you won't have that capability to uh, put those tracks into a playlist directly on your phone. Um, the way that you, you do that is that you add the, the music to your phone first, and then when you're on the phone, then you can create a playlist and uh, start adding tracks to it. Um, that works. Uh, that works. It's a workaround that may not work for some people. So if you absolutely must have playlist management on your computer and sync it to your iPhone, then uh, Media Monkey is not for you. But uh, for me, it's it's not a problem. I usually don't use playlists all that often. I uh, use uh, albums or artists or whatever on my phone, so um, um, that's the only feature that I just need to, to warn you about. So in any case, if you have a bunch of music and you want to start uh, ripping it to your, your computer so that you can store it and get rid of the CD, uh, what, would you do? what you would do is to insert the CD into uh, your computer CD drive. And on mine, it's drive G. You can see this as audio CD here. And if you insert it, it's going to ask you uh, uh, in Media Monkey if you want to rip it. And I said no because I wanted to go through this process and kind of show you what to do. So one of the first things that I do, and you can see right now that this is a, a CD that's got 15 tracks, um, but it doesn't have any information on it yet. So one of the things I will do is just right click on it and you can see an option here on the menu that comes up to get album info from FreeDB and FreeDB is basically just an online uh, kind of free music database so what happens is that the you can see that it's working right here um, so what happens is that it reads a couple of bits from the CD because every CD has uh, its own unique kind of signature and it goes to the FreeDB database and it matches it up and then it gives you all of these options so for example uh, this is the Andrea Bocelli album called Romanza and the one that I have I bought in Germany for 35 Deutschmark this is back in 1998 when there wasn't a euro yet so you can see here that there are a couple of matches, okay, and these are probably different versions of uh, of the song uh, of the album. So he has an Italian version. There's a uh, version where one of the songs is sung in Italian and uh, German. There's a Spanish version, and so on and so forth. I know which one I have. This I can see right here that this particular song right here is both Italian and German. So this is actually the album that I have, but there are probably different versions of it. And the reason there are different versions is that people contribute to this free DB. So some folks you can see would put uh, last name first of the artist and then the first name. 
So what you can do is you can just look through the different um, uh, matches that it finds and see which one works best for you. Okay. So this one looks like it's about the same. It's got the Italian and the German version of the song, so it's the same album. And so does this one. So they're all, all pretty much the same. The difference is that uh, this person right here put the last name first, and the other two guys uh, did it in the more traditional kind of American way. And then the other difference, which is why there are three results, is that each person that submitted this uh, picked a different kind of genre for what this album is. Okay. And basically what you can do is you can just click through and pick the one that you think works the best for you. And what this does, it just helps you from uh, typing a bunch of stuff for the album. Okay. So for me, I think this one's going to work the best. Uh, maybe this one. And you can always go in and change the genre afterwards anyways, that's pretty easy. But this type helps you with a bunch of uh, typing and what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one and click OK. And what you'll see is that it automatically goes in there and kind of fills in all of those unknowns with the proper information. So at this point, if I want to change this to um, a different genre, so I do, I just press Control A on my keyboard to select all. I right click and I go to uh, properties and right here under genre I'm gonna say this is uh, classical because it, it is kinda of more classical it's probably cl crossover but I'm just gonna say classical okay, and click OK and what that does is it just changes the genre uh, for that, that album in your own database so now that I have that and I like the way it looks I can go and say rip audio CD here on the menu bar. It is uh, contact sensitive, so if I have the CD drive selected, it'll give me the options that are applicable to, to that uh, kind of selection. I can also right click on this and say rip audio CD. It's the same, same thing. So once I click on this, I kind of get a uh, uh, a window that comes up that tells me okay where do I want to put put the files so right now it's defaulting to my uh, C drive which is what I don't want so I'm gonna go and hit this folder and I just will navigate to um, where I have my music which is on the end drive and on your system it will probably be somewhere else but I'm gonna put it in music on the end drive and you can see here that the destination is N and then music. And then what you see in these little brackets are kind of like metadata. So it's got album artist, then the album name, and then track number, uh, artist, dash, and then title. So these are things that it fills in based on the information from your album. Okay. And then the other thing you can do is you can select the different formats. So MP3 is fine for me, but it does support a bunch of others. And then you can go into settings and say uh, use a particular preset. So for example, the highest quality in MP3 is this 320 kilobits per second, which is what I'll use. Okay. I'll click OK. And uh, I can also give different different volume, uh, different options like eject the CD after recording, after ripping it. So I'll do that just to save myself from pressing that button on the CD drive. Once you set this all up, it'll remember your settings so that when you do it the next time, you don't have to go through all of these steps. Okay, I can click OK. And right now, you can see that it says converting uh, file 1 of 15. And it goes pretty fast. So if you were playing the CD with 15 tracks, uh, roughly four minutes or, or so uh, a, a track, you're going to end up with something like 60, 60 minutes, 65 minutes of uh, music that you would be listening to. Uh, but ripping goes a lot faster. And you can already see that it's already on, on uh, track 3 of 15. So when you rip a CD to your computer, it does it faster than real time. 
which which is just great. So I can go into my computer here and go to that end drive, go to that music, and I should have a folder here for Andrea Bocelli. And there's that album Romanza. You can see the date here. That's the uh, the one that I'm just ripping right now. These that you see in there already are from uh, other CDs that have already ripped. So I'm just doing this just to show you what it looks like. But if you surf into it, you can actually see the actual MP3 files themselves. So we'll let it do its thing. It's almost halfway done here. You can see it. And then the folder is slowly getting filled up. Um, I can exit out of this. I don't need this. But basically what Media Monkey is, is it's kind of like iTunes, except it keeps its own database for its library, uh, giving you the ability to search for stuff and uh, get different views. Uh, it may seem daunting at first, but it's not that difficult to use. If you just use it as a player and then get into ripping, um, that's what I would recommend. So we'll let this thing go. And once it's done, I'll show you how it looks inside uh, Media Monkey after it got added back into the, uh, the library here. So we're on track 12 of 15. And these will go fairly quickly. You can see the progress bar kind of moving here. And now we're on 13 to 15. Fourteen to fifteen, and we are almost done. So we'll let that we'll let that go, and then we'll go back into uh, into the library here and surf to where it is, and see how it looks. Okay, so that's it. It's done. Uh, we should hear the CD drive ejecting, and there it goes. So this is uh, the CD has now disappeared from this left list. I'm going to go ahead and scroll all the way back up and go into my Andrea Bocelli folder and click on the all for all of the music. And you can see that there's my album, Romanza. Okay. So you can see that these have been added and there's cover art for them, um, which is great. And if I double click on it, it starts playing. Okay. And you can see that I have uh, a couple of versions of this album. One, because I just re-ripped it, so you see duplicate tracks. I'll, I'll go ahead and remove that in a second. Um, but the other is that uh, I also have a Spanish version of this and an Italian version. So right here, track 33, you can see where it says Porti Volare. And that's basically the uh, um, Spanish version of uh, of one of his songs on this album. Okay. So he's got several versions of it. There's a there's a uh, Italian, there's a Spanish version, there's a couple that has uh, some German lyrics in certain songs too. And that's basically it. The other thing you can do with Media Monkey is that if you have tracks that you've imported and for some reason it did not include the artwork, you can always go in here. Uh, you can change the views from show art versus detail. So details just gives you everything. Okay. So you can see here that some of this I can fix because it came in kind of weird. Like this genre has uh, supposed to be classical, but for some reason that C got mistyped. I can update that. Um, but this is just kind of the detail view. If I don't like the detail view, I can go to view and just say uh, show art. And it kind of groups it by, by album and I can do a lot of things with it. But uh, if an album doesn't have cover art, for example, you can right click on it and just say auto tag from web. And what it does is it goes out to the web and looks for the uh, information, including the cover art. So things like, uh, uh, you can see here that I have a, a lot of different versions of it that I can click through and say, do I like that 
that art and make this larger. So I can say, do I like that art or do I like the art from this one? Or do I like it from this one? And some of them are smaller than others. Uh, some of them the color may be off. But you just pick the one that you like the best. So here's the Spanish language edition one. Okay. And you can say to click this one, this button right here, to select all your files. And what it basically does is it just tag all of your songs that are in that album with that cover art. Okay. So you can surf through here and just uh, kind of find the ones you're interested in. Okay. If there's a track listing for them, it will also uh, list it right here like this. And if you if you choose to, you can tr you can tag the uh, track number and the track title. Uh, onto the tracks, but since I don't need that, and I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to. I'm just going to close this and set a tag. But that's just how you would look for uh, album art. It takes it from Amazon, so you'll get a lot of good results. Uh, but that's basically it. If you start ripping your your CDs to your hard drive and do just a couple every day, uh, you'll get through your collection in no time. It it probably took me just a a couple of months since I had so many of doing you know 10 15 or so a day uh, but you can see how fast it went it doesn't take a lot of time at all so in any case uh, good luck and if you have any questions leave it in the comments and I will see it and get back to you see you later